It's a Saturday wrap. Oh, um, for Saturday the 26th of March 2022, I have got a cold. I know it's a cold because it happens quite well. I wouldn't say regularly, but here's the thing. Um, appears on a Friday, seem to lose my voice. All croaky, all bunged up. Yep, that happened. Um, didn't sleep very well. Yeah, that happened. Um, wake up. Eyes hurt, hence no contact lenses. Uh, feel a bit... Mm, uh, hence no beano. Sunday, getting better, feeling better. Monday, go back to work. It's great. Weekend, washed out. Happened before the Rona. I think it happened once during the Rona, but, you know, things. And if you see flashing lights, maybe, I think the battery's going in the lights. Um, whatever. Anyway, um, a look back on the week, if my voice will hold out. Anyway, um, let's have a look at the word or the phrase of the week. And it's fuel. How do you get your fuel? Is it liquid? Is it oil? Is it petrol? Is it, well, electric? Is it gas? Um, where do you get it from? Are there politics involved? How much does it cost? How much is it taxed? When the tax is taken down, does the price go up or down? Um, if you're on Nangaro Hill and the BP station there, tax comes down, price goes up. Sainsbury's, 6p off, despite the fact it was only 5p off. So we're going for that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think this one will run and run. Definitely it will run and run. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, um, my fixed deal runs out in September. I am not looking forward to it. Um, despite the fact the EU are buying all their gas or doing a deal with the US. Um, and that might make prices go down slightly. Who knows? Anyway, um, app of the week. I've mentioned this one before, but it has had yesterday uh, a major update. It's Overcast. It's iOS only. It's a podcast app. It sits on my iPod Touch as a dedicated player. And the first time I saw it, I freaked. I can't find things. They were there anyway. Um, it looks, well, I was used to the old thing. But then I thought, well, change happens. You Sometimes you have to move with these things. And now, yeah, I'm getting used to it. <coughs> Cough. Um, and within a week or so, it will be just like it never changed. And there's more functionality coming down the track. And the guy behind it, Marco, um, he's a big into podcasting 2.0. Not really through this app, but donating to it. I think it's good. Anyway, and the the thing of the week, I had Tuesday off. I had an emergency B no. Probably the way things turned out are just as well, because the day is looking a bit well. I'm not B knowing. I went into Tiny Rebel in the afternoon and I was checking out their new cans and there was one there called the Norris. Just slightly less than a pint. Um, super sour. I love sours. And most sours are quite gentle. And super sours tend to be like normal sours. This one wasn't. This actually was super sour. It took me about an hour to drink. It was a definite sipper. That's not to criticize it. Um, it was very good, but um, if you actually buy one, you're going to have to donate quite a lot of time if you're going to drink it all in one go. And you must be a sour aficionado. Oh, it was red, by the way. And it was really good. And I think it was £5.70 a can, which over an hour is not too bad. And you wouldn't be able to neck that one back. Anyway, this time last week, <coughs> yeah, there you go, coughing, 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 um, washed the smock. Um, the wind, the wind was cutting actually, although it was nice and it was sunny and I did some planting, planted quite a lot actually. Let's have a look. Um, potatoes, radishes, 
Actually, the radishes are inside on the back window cell in the lobby, and they've already come through. I'm really pleased with that. Um, so lots of potatoes. Um, in the week, I did some salad leaves mixed, um, and some onion sets arrived yesterday to make up for the ones that didn't quite make it through the winter. So I've been planting some of those, planting uh, pushing a, a finger into the soil and then pushing the set into it, covering it up and watering it. Um, I think more will be going in today, just in case, you know, things like that. Um, and then I sat in the back garden, got the tram gear out, bacon roll, burger um, with onions and barbecue sauce. Um, it was nice, but the wind, although... Over the week, the wind has dropped to the extent that overnight, there's always been a hint of frost, usually just on the car roof and the front windscreen. But in the day, 16 or 17 and really, really pleasant. Hmm. Okay. What else? Oh, yeah. The spring statement on Wednesday. I'm going to skip past most of it. 5p off a litre. Um... And then personal allowance for NI goes up and it's just tinkering around. But here's the thing. Um, for about two years, we had 80%, oh, we had most of the population on 80% of their wages on furlough. We're basically skint. And we've got to pay that back. Um, and then all the prices have gone up. And then there's the Ukraine and all that sort of stuff. So we're all in trouble. We're all going to be worse off. And not having a Saturday Beano might become a thing again. But not having anything to make up for it from, like going to Tesco's and buying beer, because, like, um, going to have to buy food, going to have to buy heating. Yeah, I know it's not nice, but that's the way it's going to be. <gasps> Football. Wales beat Austria 2-1. The Daily Telegraph said um, Wales and Scotland should give up their place in the um, World Cup for the Ukraine. Why not England? You know. Why not all three? You know. Yeah, no, not really. Anyway, um, and here's the biggie. Announcement on Friday about masks and isolation and such like. Okay, Eric. I think the story is no money. Um, right, okay. Then we basically have to fall in line and not follow um, Scotland, which is unusual. So as from Monday, no masks on trains, no masks on buses, no masks in shops, only in hospitals. Irony alert here, the amount of hospital-acquired infections of the Rona. Hmm. I'm not altogether sure how effective most of the masks are. N95 possibly might be the way forward. Um, mine is just a bit of um, material that's black and got tiny rebel written on the side. But what can you do? OK, um, I was reading this morning, and this is good news on the Spoons front, which... Where the Spoons Spring Beer Festival starts next Wednesday, that from Tuesday onwards, the Tuesday Steak Day is back fully, and the Curry Thursday is back fully, and Bargies are back. I have missed Bargies. I have missed drowning them in vinegar. Uh, you know, things like that. So, um, that's it. Um, that was my week, he says. Hmm. I hope I feel better tomorrow. Anyway, comments, stuff like that, you know. And um, I might put some new batteries in these lights. Bye-bye.